In previous years, Articat's F800 was known as a recognized performer. And for 2012, it comes reborn in the new Procross chassis. This new offering has shed over 57 pounds from last year's model. Here are the crew's first impressions. Got to be one of the best looking sleds with the, uh, the Snow Pro package. It, uh, it can fling it through the trails and it's very maneuverable. It'll take the bumps. It can fly through the air. It's uh, I had a great time riding it. The uh, new Haze Brake, it's a radial design. It's a very long lever. It's very easy to grab from anywhere on the handlebar. And it's one finger's pressure on the, the brake and you're slowing down in a hurry. And it, Brake rotors on the dry shaft, which uh, it's very direct, it's very, uh, very good brake feel to it. The new cats have a great underseat uh, zippered storage bag that's standard, which is lacking on uh, a lot of the other brands. And then they have a real nice optional bag that uh, snaps onto the rear of the tunnel that looks like it's uh, uh, custom fitted for the, for the machine. The 800 Snow Pro is a true ditch banging sled, it's lightweight. Uh, agile, uh, extremely capable through the bumps, yet you can trail ride it all day. The weight savings is definitely noticeable in all areas. Uh, it corners nice and flat, uh, it rides really well, uh, it's certainly capable in the big bumps with the Snow Pro package, um, and excellent power delivery. It's, uh, this motor is definitely a rocket and, uh, and one of the best in the industry, if possibly the best, I guess. Um, it, uh, this machine's a lot of fun to drive. Not for a beginner rider, but uh, a lot of fun in all, in all conditions. Every time I get on one of these sleds with this motor, I just, I just can't help but smile. It's a completely different power band from any other sled I know. There are other sleds with different mid-ranges, different top ends. Out of the hole, this thing just, it just sings like a snowcross racing engine. It just revs so effortlessly. I absolutely love this engine. Whatever Articat brings this out in a package, I just fall in love with it. I just want to get on there and just hear that thing come out of the hole because I feel like I'm in staging every time I start that sled. Notable likes include lighter weight is obvious. This sled tracks flat. And the new haze brake is excellent. Notable dislikes include this type of sled should have handguards. Solid engine, but where's the direct injection version? Depending on their exclusive power steering technology, for 2012, Yamaha has introduced it into their new Vector LTX. Here's what our test team had to say about this new offering with power assist steering. In the last 10 years, Yamaha has really done a good job of selling me on their snowmobiles, especially with this Vector packages that they've come up with. They really are fun to ride. They really are easy to ride. Power steering has made them that much easier to ride. This past winter, I put over a thousand kilometers on one over a weekend, and once again, super predictable, super nice to ride. Some people may say it's time for Yamaha to change the lineup. However, if you're doing something well and you're doing something right, should you change it? I don't think so. Well, with the Vector with the power steering now, it has a little more ski pressure, it turns, it turns very well. But it is, does feel a little uh, dated, the sitting seating position. You're sitting back a little lower and back a little further. Uh, some people may uh, still enjoy this type of riding. It, uh, it's more for the person that doesn't want to sit upright and ride like a, an ATV. So the uh, power steering makes a, an all-day ride on those sleds completely enjoyable. This is a pretty good trail machine. Um, with the uh, addition of the EPS, uh, it really, really helps to make the front end feel a lot lighter. Uh, it takes any fatigue out of it. Corner's better, it darts less, it's flatter, and it, overall it handles better. Uh, I'd prefer if it had the same seat as the Apex, sit a little higher, you tend to sit down lower in the, uh, the Vector. It's uh, not necessarily a great off-trail machine, but on-trail. If you want a machine that you can put a lot of miles on and maybe do some uh, touring up north, this is uh, a good machine for that. Notable likes include great torque and acceleration from this engine. Handling is excellent with the power steering great protection from the windshield. Notable dislikes include needs mirrors as a solo touring sled and could use some more storage.
when STV returns, a backcountry renegade evaluation.